Well, hey, McFly subscribers. I'm out fishing, finally, again. Um, I'm at a little lake called Ellis Lake in a town called Marysville. Um, and it's, uh, it's kind of cool. It's a city, uh, Marysville. I mean, not a big, big city, but, you know, it's a city lake. Um, I hear it's stocked with bass and um, crappie and and bluegill and it's got some carp in it and whatnot but I'm using my new risen rod this is a uh, risen Genesis um, 8 weight and the Gideon 7 8 weight reel it's with their line as well um, it's pretty nice this is gonna be the first time I actually use it to catch fish I did a little casting with it. it's very nice to cast um, but we'll see how it does with um, this big heavy honking streamer on there. I'm going to try to catch some big bass. Uh, that's the one that I tied a couple weeks ago for you guys. So it's a beautiful fly and I think it'll definitely catch. It's flashy enough. Now this water as you can see is a little mucky. As you can see this fly still you can see it. So you know there's a lot of flash in it. it moves pretty well. I'm not sure you can even see it in the Ooh, that was a bass. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's got a lot of nice movement to it. I really like this fly. So I'm gonna get out there and catch a fish, see if I can't get that bass that just hit. That was a good size one. As you can see, the bass kept splashing the top there. So I was really hoping for him to bite. And even with that messed up cast, this rod could pick up line from a far distance and still deliver a good power cast. I'm really liking it. Wow, a really nice 60 foot cast there, which is impressive with this wind resistant fly. So this bass bit, then dropped it, but bit once again. He must have really wanted this fly bad. Okay, not too big, but a fun little catch. After that bass, I decided to walk around looking for more spots. Here I found a man-made floating vegetation thing that I was positive would be holding bass. I made a few casts to it, but no luck. However, I was really impressed how accurate this rod is. I had full confidence in casting close to this. The fly was placed where I wanted it every time. Here are some trees hanging over the water, making shade. I figured there would be a bass here also, but I had to curve the cast around the tree a bit to get deep back in there. Still no luck somehow. Well, I fished a little longer, but my wife had basically dropped me off to fish, and she was going to the grocery store and I promised my five-year-old that he could fish when they got back. So we got out his little rod and put a worm under a bobber for him. And pretty quickly, he hooked into a really nice bluegill. However, we gotta work on his release technique. Right, 
Anyway, this was a quick video, guys, I know. Not a ton of action, since I only got to fish for about an hour. But it was really nice taking this new rod out and testing it. It definitely is a great rod for the money. So if you want to check out the rod, go to www.risenfly.com. Link to this rod will be in the description section. And don't forget to type in my personal discount code that I'm giving you for an additional 15% off this rod, reel, or whatever else you buy on their site. They have lifetime warranties on their gear, and they're amazing quality for the money. I will see you guys in the next video. Now you go catch some fish.